Hi peeps, so I have two large journals for you that you guys have already seen if you have been my subscriber for a little bit. But um, I think, I don't know if I rethreaded both of them or one of them, but nonetheless, <laughs> I have um, two of them. They both are floral. Um, this one, both of them, they don't have a lot of pages, so they will be um, at a lower price than my other ones that are like stuffed. <laughs> so this one has um, lace and a rosette trim on the spine here. I didn't put a closure in this one. I don't know why. Maybe I will, but for some reason I didn't. So it has a pocket on the inside here. I am out of frame. And I just have some stationery that was coffee dyed. This so this this does have coffee dyed paper. I did a little bit of stamping, some music sheets. It's a little um, tuck spot here with a tag. A little envelope with journal card in there, some um, rub ons here. Make sure I stay in frame here. I did some lace detailing on this one, some stamping, a bag here. Oh, I have something in here with a index card that I punched the butterfly oh, and I stamped on the back. I forgot what I did in this one. Okay, I'll put that back later. I'm gonna feel like fighting with it. A little doily at the top here. Did I leave that for a tuck spot? Yes, I did, okay. And then I use my punch here, just for a little, little detail. A little teapot stamp right here. This paper that I've had and I love, use my punch that doesn't work anymore. Little lace, a little lace, <laughs> lace detail here on the side. Oh my goodness. It's been a long day, you guys. This is a um, journal spot that I glued on and stamped the butterfly. And then this one, oh, this one I did not um, re-thread because I already had the lace on it. Um, so I put some butterflies on the thread here and tied a bow. And then this has a little pocket here, um, library pocket. And then this one has a little stamp, a little tag here, a little tuck spot. Another little, other end of the bag with another index card. Did I put something? Oh, I put some um, vintage ad from 1968 on the back of this one. I got that from my mouse. Thank you, mouse. A little stamp up there. Some more lace detail. I don't know if you could see the stencil of the dress form here. A little tag here. Music sheet. Stenciling here with the coffee, a little sticker at the bottom. So this is a real simple one. There's another little um, stencil. Some more music sheets. There's some stamping here. There's a dog next door. Huge giant tag <laughs> that you could journal on. I really love this big tag. And then there's the back. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Okay, so here's this one. I love this one so much. I'm so happy this is the second one that I had made, if you guys remember. The first one I made, I accidentally sewed the pockets upside, I mean not the pocket, the paper upside down, so I made another one. I love this um, because I use napkin and decoupage um, the napkin on here and I think this napkin is so pretty 
added some lace on the spine here I don't know something about adding lace I don't know why I love adding lace but I love adding lace to the spine I think it just finishes the journal for me I don't I don't really like spines with no detail on it <laughs> okay so let me move this I can have, make sure I have some room all right because this one is big as well so I have this pocket here and this has like some texture on it um, I made a little booklet well not really a booklet but a little flip here so you could journal in there just some scraps and then it's a little tag this is from Ephemeris Garden there's some stationery that I coffee dyed another little journal spot from Ephemeris Garden as well another tag from Ephemeris Garden that matched perfectly with this paper I am going to, speaking of Ephemeris Garden, I am going to be downloading some, buying some of her kits. I've never used a digital kit before, but I am dying to use some of hers. I have my eye on a few. Some uh, music sheets. Another little Ephemeris Garden tag here. And a envelope with a journal card inside. Another little um, journal spot <laughs> from Ephemeris Garden as well. There's a stencil. Another little stencil coffee dye. Um, this paper, I don't even think I said, um, but this was from a watercolor painting book that I had. And I used it in here and I backed it with some cardstock so it'll be a little bit, little more, a little bit sturdier. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just some, uh, book pages from an old journal. Some stationery that's all coffee dyed. So that's a little tuck spot. I just thought it went so well with this paper. It's some vellum, another journal card. I love this paper. I remember this paper um, from Webster's Pages. I hoarded it for so long. Another journal card here. And another big tag from um, it's funny, I had this big, this big tag from some old collection and I loved it. So I've been using that one tag as a template to make these big tags. I really, really love how big that tag is. So that is this one. So those, these two big journals will, will be um, listed as well um, by the end of the day today on my, in my Etsy shop. Um, hope you like them. If you have any questions, concerns, please feel free to um, put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.